We are continuing to preview the 2024 college football season, and today our stop is Canton, Missouri, as we get to visit with Coach Tom Sally, the head football coach for the Culver Stockton Wildcats, who has made a wardrobe change prior to uh, us pushing record right now, and he's heading into his eighth year with the program. Coach, I appreciate your time today. Seriously, I'm thankful that that you stopped by. I always talk about last season a little bit, one in ten last season. Tell us a little bit about last year as as we look ahead. Um, last year was obviously a tough year for us. Um, we couldn't control the ball on offense and, and on defense because of that. We had a hard time stopping people, and so um, you know we really kind of uh, reinvested ourselves in, in in the kids and in, in the coaching staff and in the program over the off season and and watch our kids grow a lot in leadership roles and kids a lot of kids who stepped up who um weren't necessarily leaders the last year but in the off season really kind of stepped up and and made some big improvements and and put us in a position i think to to be pretty successful walking into the fall season here um you know it, it, one of our biggest goals is we want to show we want to prove and and push that last year was a fluke more than more than the ex- expectation i guess well, you had an opportunity spring practices as well as a spring game too. Uh, you you talk about reinvesting and and some some adjustments that are made. When you look back on the spring, is there anything in particular that stands out to you? Um, how much our kids decided to take ownership of what was going on. Them guys calling each other out and and raising the expectations of uh, what they thought was hard work, you know and um, them being able to call out themselves and their teammates and, and take accountability for what they were doing wrong and what they were doing right, you know, and taking pride in, hey, this is, I'm doing this right and I'm getting better and we're improving and it, it's showing these other guys that this is the way it's supposed to be and kind of buying back into um, realizing that Culver Stock is a pretty special place, you know, um, it's not, it's not the most populated area. It's not the biggest campus in the world. It's not anything, but um, for the people who that are here and that are care about it, it, it's a really good spot. And, and I think our guys needed to be reminded of that a little bit too. You know, I think we thought we arrived a little bit the last year and a half here. And um, I think it was kind of a lesson that we all need to learn both players and coaches, especially myself that, you know, we still got a long way to go to get it to exactly where we're, we want to be. And so, our guys, you know, pushed hard in the off season and, and I was really, really impressed and really proud to, to see them and see a lot of our young coaches step up and, and push their players, you know, because for young coaches, that's, that's a pretty hard deal, you know, to, mm-hmm. to kind of be the figure front and not be scared to say, Hey, you're not working hard enough. You're not doing these things hard enough. So for them guys to do it and then to see their kids buy into them and, and an overall into the program was really, really fun. We look ahead then 2024 and, and August is is rapidly approaching camp's going to be here before you know it uh, as you look at the offense you know you, you were talking about some of some of the struggles last year and, and what went on offense did struggle just a little bit tell us about some of the changes and, and what we may see in 24 on the offensive side of the ball well one of the big things we talked about it is um, in the past we used to talk about a plus system and and we've kind of really really rededicated ourselves to that, to taking care of the ball. It's hard to score points when you give the ball to the other team two and three times a game. So um, deciding to do that, our young offensive line uh, really grew. I think this off season uh, we'll have four guys that are sophomores, are younger starting. Um, and so we're excited about that. Them got, watching them guys get bigger and stronger and coming together as, as a unit. Um, to kind of take control of the offense, you know, because that's where it really starts, right? And it's the old, same old football cliche that everybody says, but it's just true. You know, I'm playing NCAA football on PlayStation now, and when my old line was bad when I started in the MAC, I wasn't very good. And as I've gotten better and better, you know, the, the old line's gotten better and better. So seeing that stuff in the offseason and, and watching them guys grow and mature and become leaders was really important. Um, you know, at the running back position, we got uh, we got Demarion Cobb, who's going to be our starting running back, who 
um, has done every single thing that we've asked him to. You know, he he wasn't scared to yell at his friends. He wasn't scared to hold himself accountable. He did a great job in the offseason running the ball, taking care of the ball, um, and and elevating his teammates, you know. And he, he was an it was awesome to watch that. And, you know, hopefully we got a few weapons that, that some people might not know about that can help us a little bit. We're visiting now with Tom Sally from Culver Stockton, and I appreciate, Coach, the, uh, the video game reference as well, too, because since that's come out this summer, I know there are a lot more – players and coaches that uh, have had some activity in front of the TV than, than it mentioned. So I appreciate you referencing that way, way more than my wife likes. So <laughs> I have been yelled at more than, more than a dozen times I imagine since that game started. So I figured I'll get tired of it in about a week, but until then I'll, I'll probably be hanging around the video game system a little bit too much. Well, enjoy that and enjoy the summer, uh, and, and that's that's what this time is all about. So I, I I appreciate that, Coach. We talked about the offense a little bit. Defense, Kendall Fowler, an all-conference performer, is coming back, and he'll be among those to help lead on the defensive side of the ball. So preview the defense for us. Um, Kendall Fowler is a great kid. He'll be a fifth-year senior, um, a kid that could have graduated and moved on, and it, it meant a lot to him to come back and leave the program in a spot that he thought it, it, it deserved. And so um, I'll be forever be grateful to him for that, him. And there's a couple other guys, Highland and um, a couple of other, other fifth year seniors that decided, Hey, it's a little bit more important for me to come back and do this than maybe even go do what I wanted to do right off the bat after I graduated college. So them guys are really important, you know, and will forever be in, in their depth for the things that they've done. And and they took the off season hard. Um, Kendall's up about 15 pounds and I mean, he looks, he looks impressive, you know? Um, so it's fun to watch him. You know, we got a bunch of young backers that are, um, that we feel are going to make a big, big difference for, for us. Uh, one of our returners, Mason Vickery, um, will have a big part of that, but we also got a few kids, Caden Thomas and, and Sean Ussery and um, Brooklyn Hyman and, and Hinson and, and a bunch of guys at that spot that are really going to be super competitive and um, they're, they're athletes. And that's what we like at backer. We want guys that can run. And uh, we feel like as a defense, you make up for a lot of mistakes by, by getting around and running to the ball. You know, you can be out of a gap, but if you run hard enough, you can, you can make up for that. And so, them guys are, are really skilled and big and strong and, and really fast. And so watching them guys run around, um, run around is I think is going to be really fun this year. And then you get to the defensive backs and we got some young guys, um, Tahim Morell and Robert Jones that are at corner that are, that are really good. And then we got Carlos Price, who's a senior, who's really good at corner. And um, we really like those guys. Um, a guy that really made a big, big jump this offseason season was Sonny Jenkins. He we moved him from corner to safety, and um, the strides he took in the off season were really, really impressive. You know, he kind of dedicated himself to to himself first, which which is a big deal, and and to the team. And um, you saw the progress in the spring, and and we tried to throw it to the other side when he was there a lot of the time. So um, it was good, but we we also got you know. Ty and um, Ching and and a bunch of guys we think can can make a difference on that side of the ball. Big, long, lengthy, um, good athletes that have a lot of experience and and we're just really really excited. Coach, I don't want to neglect special teams and and uh, I, I bring out Gavin Gardner. I know he was receiver for you last year and plays on offense, but uh, uh, main return man and actually an all conference performer. Uh, just all the way around as an athlete. Uh, how's your special teams look coming in? We, we're really excited because we, we got a bunch of guys that can run. We hope our coverage teams are are in a good position to make a lot of plays this year. But when you got guys like Gavin and and Robert and some of them other guys that are going to have a chance to get the ball in their hands deep and, and go make plays, you know, you're, you're pretty excited. Yeah. You know? Gavin has done a great job. He's super explosive. He uh, he sees the ball well. He catches it. He can, he catches on the run is, is a big thing that we push. And so, um, and he takes pride in it. You know, it's not something that he has to do. It's something that he gets to do. And when you have guys on special teams that do that, you know, um, it's it's a good deal. A lot of the times, 
you can tell kind of what the culture of your team is based off of how many kids want to be on special teams, you know, because you don't get a lot of pub for it. You don't get the attention you want. You don't get all the accolades or anything like that. It's just a, I want to play football play. And mm-hmm. um, our kids have shown, you know, that they're excited about those things and they realize that those things make a difference. And so um, they, they should do a great job at that this year, I think. Season gets underway August final day of August week zero. It's a Saturday. You're at home to take on Mount Marty out of conference uh, opponent there. And then the next weekend also at home, but it's divisional play. Mid American Nazarene comes to town and uh, then your actual, I said divisional play crossover play. Then divisional play begins September 28th and it's another home game. Grandview coming to town. Tell us a little bit about the opening to your schedule. Well, it's not easy. You know, we kind of get the, to run the gauntlet a little bit. You know, we play Minam, who's a top 20 team, Baker, a top 20 team. Grandview is one of the best teams in the country every single year. Um, Benedictine is, is in them first six games. Mount Marty is a good program. They got a, uh, me and coach are really good friends and um, they're going to be a hard, a hard game. And so we kind of get to find out who we are early on, you know, and we're going to be pretty young both on offense and defense. And so, we're going to show up and we're going to get punched in the face and we're going to see kind of how much we want to battle. You know, um, we play in a, in a, in a really, really hard conference. You know, there's, there's three or four teams every year that have a chance to win it. And, and we haven't even talked about the teams like Graceland and um, who are exceptionally skilled at quarterback and receiver and, and William Penn, who, uh, who has made huge strides and Peru state that coach got things going in a, in a great direction over there, you know? So, um, our schedule is never easy. There's never one that you look at and go, okay, all right, there's our down week. So, um, uh, but it's, it's fun, you know, it, it challenges you every week and it, it don't let you, it doesn't allow us to let our kids get complacent because they have to be on their game every week or you're going to get beat. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, coach, we're, we are going to follow the Wildcats this season again. August 31st, Mount Marty out of conference game. That's where things get started, and that will be at home in Canton. Coach Tom Sally, thank you so much, sir, for taking time with us today, previewing the Culver Stockton Wildcats for 2024. We appreciate your time. Thank you. I appreciate you guys having us. Go Wildcats. 